RCDSB Tech Academy. Think, talk, tech, quick clips. Hi there. Welcome back to the RCDSB Tech Academy. I'm your host, Brian, an RCDSB Grade 11 student. Today we will continue with the 3D design process in Tinkercad by creating and renaming a project and exploring the building tools for designing any 3D project. Let's get started. Okay, so in the previous episode we logged into Tinkercad and now I'm here after I've done that. So I'm just immediately going to jump right in and go down under projects and click create project. And then I'm going to click create new design. So this loads up a whole project for creating your 3D model. Before you do anything, the first thing you're going to want to go do is go up to Design and click Properties. So once your Properties menu has come up, as you can see, immediately there's your name. And I can genuinely tell you that I don't want it to be named Epic Radis Waza, or however you pronounce that. But we're going to change it, in my case, I'm just going to change it to Tech Academy, but you can change it to whatever you want it to be. Leave visibility to private and don't touch the license. And click Save Changes. Okay, as you can see now it's called Tech Academy, and now I can go into the overview. So to move around like I am right now, currently on this grid, I'm just holding right click on my mouse, which just allows me to move around the object. Now, if you ever got to something like this and you wanted to go back, as you can see in this left side, there's a little home button. And if you click home, it recenters you. And you can also click the arrows around the home to kind of circle around this pane and such. And then the plus and minus are just for zooming in and zooming out. Okay, also up here, as you can see, they're grayed out right now because I haven't actually placed any objects yet. But you have an undo and a redo button, and those do what they say. If you place an object or delete something and you don't want to do that, you can undo it. Or if you delete something and didn't or and didn't want to, you can redo it. There's a lot of tools and functionality built into the program, but we're just going to start with the basics in this case. So just basically your basic geometry. So if you click geometric up here, or even if you just click this little box up here, you can see you have all of these shapes. And to add one of them, let's say we wanted a box, you click and drag onto wherever you want it. And you can, and after this is selected, as you can see it looks kind of crazy, but it's very straightforward. You can drag it around wherever you want it to be. And these different points tell you different things. So this arrow up here, it lets you move it up and down. The arrow at the, or sorry, the things, these little twisty bits at the side allows you to turn it. And then these points, these little square dots, they allow you to resize it. So you can resize the height, the width, etc, etc. So I don't want that, so I'm just going to hit delete. And that's in that case where you could do, if you didn't mean to do that, you can hit that undo button and there you go, it's back. But I'm going to redo it. So that's, or not, <laughs> so that's uh, geometric. So that's all your geometry. And then you've got holes. So this is if you want there to be, let's say you have that cube that you worked so hard on and you want there to be a massive hole inside of this cube. I don't know why, but you want it there. So you can put that cube in there, in that box I suppose it's called, and then you can go into holes and take cylinder and just drag it right on in. And as you can see, it leaves this mark. So we can resize it and we can position it wherever we want into the, the square and or cube. And you can see this, this negative space, this kind of blue gray out area, that's where that hole is going to be now. So you don't need to touch that. It doesn't might not look like it, but there will be a hole there in the end. Okay, so I'm going to delete both of these. After holes, there's letters, which is what it is. It's lots all your different letters, the basic alphabet. <laughs> then you've got numbers, which is 1 through 9, well, 0 through 9, apologies. And then you've got some symbols, which is like at and exclamation mark, some dice, diamonds, etc. And then you've got extras, which is, well, in this case, a couple eggs, some bunny ears, and a chicken foot. Extras. Um, uh, that's, that's why they're not in the priority menu. So that's an extremely basic overview of Tinkercad. And using these tools that I've shown you, you can create virtually anything, limited only by your imagination. So thanks for joining me, and uh, happy printing!